x bar x control chart in Microsoft Excel to create uh, x bar uh, x control chart. Uh, we're going to create the trial control chart first. To create that, we need to calculate the x bar first. So the average of this cell. So the average of the first subgroups, and then we go. Wait, and then x bar bar that's grand mean which is uh, average we could average all of these uh, data points or we can simply select f that will also give me the same uh, i don't need so many decimal points i'm going to format that to up to two decimal i need to calculate s and uh, the standard deviation so we can say equal stdv dot s parenthesis and for these subgroups copy that down then s bar the average of the sub uh, uh, subgroup standard deviation and then copy that then we can calculate the upper control limit for uh, x bar which is equals this is the formula can be found in any statistical quality control uh, book and this is x bar bar the grand mean plus a3 a constant value that can be found from the control chart constant table uh, in any statistical quality control book uh, see and that one let me show you how they look like go there so this is the control chart look like a3 constant value is 1.628 1.628 so equals grand mean uh, plus a3 freeze that and then i need the s bar i can select times this so like that and then the lower control limit is x bar equals x bar bar minus the a3 times s bar now we have all this value to create x bar s control chart so x bar uh, grand mean upper control lower control and then inside go do a line chart something like this so this is the x bar s control chart let's format this axis so we can see a little bit better and i think start from zero so we can say 30 and maybe something like 61 or so now title this so i'm going to say that's the mean of subgroups uh, say individual subgroup and then this is the subgroups And then title we have created x bar s control chart and this is a trial chart in the next video we'll show you how to create the revised charts so that's it about x bar s control chart